Hello, beard lovers and knowledge seekers. My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related because of videos just like this. We have a new installment in one of my favorite series that I haven't really touched in a while. Haven't even filmed one of these in the new studio, mainly because I've just had so many amazing ideas that I've been wanting to get out and I've been dying to come back to this. So we are back and this is my Carrier Oils 101 series, where today we're going to be covering avocado seed oil, where I go over where it's from, the history behind it, the benefits, and if I recommend it to you guys. So if you like learning about any information like this, whether it's the Carrier Oils, how to make your beard look and feel good, please just take a second, check to make sure your subscribe button is selected. Weird stuff happens all the time where guys are like, I don't know what happened, man. I didn't mean to unsubscribe, but I am now. I made sure that we're good. I appreciate that. Stay tuned, guys, and I'm going to give you all the information you need to know about avocado seed oil and whether it is good for your beard and it's a good ingredient on that bottle for you guys. Where? Where does avocado seed oil come from? Of course, it comes from the seed or the pit of an avocado, which is a flowering plant or a flowering fruit, and it is from Mexico, native in Mexico. But chances are a lot of you are receiving your avocado seed oil from California if you have those American-made, American-sourced ingredients because California makes 90% of the avocado production from the United States of America and oftentimes it's cheaper to buy because of all the different regulations and a lot of companies are getting their avocados to make cosmetics from California. History. My favorite segment in this series, probably because I'm an actual history teacher, and this one is really cool because it crosses over into the curriculum that I actually teach of my ancient world history class. Now, I also teach early U.S. history and ancient world, and the avocado I get to teach about. It has actually been eaten by people in Mexico for over 10,000 years. The Aztecs absolutely coveted the avocado and so did so many other people. When the Europeans came over, the conquistadors, and they took over and settled, they brought the avocado to the rest of the world. But it wasn't until the early 1900s when the British Imperial Institute found out that they could extract high concentrations of oil from the pulp of that avocado. So the actual oil we can tie back to just a couple hundred years and the British were the ones that were able to figure it out and start using it for hair and for skin. So pretty cool history there when you think about how long this fruit has been around, but how short amount of time they actually started using oil from it. Benefits. What are the benefits of avocado seed oil for my beard hair and the skin underneath it? Now the nutrients and vitamins in this oil are awesome. We're mainly talking about vitamins A, D, E, and some of those omega-3 fatty boys in there. Now we're going to look at the hair and skin separately. First off, to start out with your skin. Now avocado seed oil is great for nourishment and even conditioning properties for your skin. It is a very light and easily absorbed oil that's going to get through your first and second layer of skin. What that's going to do is allow you to repair dry and even flaky skin and it has this special quality that we do not normally see in carrier oils and that is called collagen synthesis. What that's going to do is create new connective tissue. That means it can heal wounds, it can create skin where it was not when that flaky skin is taking it off. That is phenomenal for a carrier oil for your skin. If you have a little nick underneath there, if you have beard acne that's trying to recover and you got a scar, avocado seed oil is for you when you're looking at that skin portion underneath your beard. Now for the hair, it's also awesome. I said it's easily absorbed into your skin. Well, it does that for your hair as well. 
Avocado seed oil is one of the few light oils that is going to absorb into the hair, into the shaft of your hair. It's going to actually penetrate the hair rather than just sit on the outside and coat your hair. And that is really important if you're looking for that perfect carrier oil blend. You do not want too many sealing or coating oils because what's going to happen is it's going to be too slow to absorb. And with a good amount of time going by, your hands are going to feel greasy going through your beard. You need something in there to penetrate and absorb into the hair and skin and be that agent that's going to deliver that something like a clutch performer, avocado seed oil. Recommend. Do I recommend avocado seed oil on the ingredients in your beard products? Now, this may seem like it would be an obvious answer on this and other videos, but if you go back and check, and I'm sure it'll happen again on the future, there are certain ingredients that I recommend only for certain types of beards and people. Now, avocado seed oil, I recommend across the board for everyone. If you see this ingredient on a beard product, you know that you are in good hands because they are putting that extra level in research into a product that's going to work for you guys. And that's extremely important. We want to make sure we are pushing to have these products enhance, not just contain what we have. So it's a light oil. It's going to penetrate and absorb into the skin and into the hair. It does not clog your pores or give buildup whatsoever. It prevents breakage. Yes, this is an absolutely awesome ingredient that you should look more and more for. So guys, I'm jumping full-fledged back into this series. I really enjoy it. I need you guys first to leave me a comment down below if you enjoy this series and what are your thoughts on avocado seed oil. Did you learn something interesting in this video? Have you had experiences of loving avocado seed oil where you're using products and you're like, man, it's on this one, it's on this one, it's on this one, and my beard loves all of those? Or maybe it's not for you and leave the reason why below. Maybe you have a gut feeling on why it didn't work for you. And then leave me a second separate comment. Yeah, give me a separate comment out there and tell me what carrier oil you want me to cover next on this series. Whichever one has the most individual comment votes, I'm going to do on the next video. That's my promise to you guys. I'll go back and count and whichever one it is, I'll cover. Whether it's one that's kind of exotic and you just don't know about, or maybe it's a common one and you want to be reassured, or hey, maybe it's one that you think is a filler ingredient and you want to get some information out there and maybe expose some companies that are using cheap ingredients that aren't really helping you because that unfortunately does exist. Now, I have covered a lot of these videos already on my previous setup, so make sure you go check those ones out. So ones that I've covered and are not eligible would be the big hitters like fractionated coconut oil, sweet almond, jojoba, argan, grapeseed, castor, even citral alcohol. I believe those are all the ones that I've covered. Everything else is game, you guys. Let me know something about avocado oil and what do you want next in this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are ones that take a lot of research for me, but I really, really take pride in them and absolutely love worrying and knowing about the ingredients that are going on our skin and on our beard every single day. So thank you guys. As always, my name is Dan C. Bearded. I really hope you guys will stay bearded and always stay positive. Bye.